Hey you guys, KingLeg86, aka Rain, and welcome to another reaction video by Jonas, the future of everything. It's weird how the wording is like that because it looks like Isaac's writing. So I actually saw a tweet of it and everyone said that everyone's freaked out on the fact that Jesse predicted that something bad was going to happen and to the world. And hey, hey, something did happen. A virus just came out. So I don't know. I, I think there might be more to it. So let's take a look and see what he has to say. I can't even see. Jesus. Ew. Quarantine cut. It's coming. I, I swear. I can't take it anymore. It's been a while since we had a real conversation. So I wanted to sit down, strip everything back. So this video is going to be Jesse's therapy, which this has always been that, you know, all the series that I've made over the years has really been about me just venting to y'all in story format. But I understand there's a lot of confusion. It's a crazy time and it's halfway through the year, which if we check back the innocent end of the year video, I, I, this, the 2020s are going to be chill. I'll miss you 2010s. I'll miss you dearly. But it's time to talk about 2020. Where I talk about the year of the Phoenix. I knew this year would be wild. I just, well, I was half expecting some superpower disease and some end of the world stuff back in the fall. And I knew it was coming. So what's going to happen is bacteria strains are going to mutate more. And we're going to have some superpower diseases. We've been very fortunate to not have some crazy diseases now. But we're going to get those. Um, we're gonna get, with that climate change, we're gonna have superpowered thunderstorms, we're gonna get hurricanes, I mean, LA's been, we're on fire. What happened just yeah. today, yesterday, was it? Evacuated 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. 50,000 people? That, yeah. And this is all happening, and like, when you look at the macro level, I mean, people's just so much in their bubbles, that like, they don't realize all the signs that are happening, and they're like, everything's fine. I can still get water out my spigot. I can still go to the grocery store and get my shit, but like, you have no f clue what's happening right now on top of this we have political and social unrest also we're gonna have the biggest economic collapse i think since like the great depression we have so much inflated bull pumping the economy right now we're literally on fumes like what the stock market has done over the last like since 2008 has been ridiculously unsustainable bet you guys never saw that one before i think there's a lot we're not really seeing some things right our very noses now um i've gone back and forth between shooting reshooting this video and i really contemplated even uh divulging any of this information with you um i don't think any of this is real <laughs> i i think it's all i don't i don't know it's scary for me to say this but i think things are a simulation i really i really believe that i think the world we're living in is false and that we are failing to see the truth of what's really going on here i'm pretty confident i've seen it i have years of footage like that behind the scenes i've seen things i know things i just feel like i'm missing certain parts and i maybe i, I wanted to do this video because maybe you guys can help fill in the gaps for me i keep hearing things um i wanted to do this video to really talk to you guys genuinely um i'm i'm just happy to, to genuinely have a conversation with y'all ashley and i have been running through the old series like my virtual escape and i we are too distracted to see the light i know i've been pretty distracted and preoccupied with one of the lights and that's story fire look sorry if i'm all over the place i know the last couple years has been crazy you know it's start stop start stop i'm like doing this mini series and this series and then all of a sudden i'm this uh, i'm jumping from youtube to story fire done not done i'm just trying to find the truth in it all you know before we get any deeper into this i just want to say thank you guys by the time this video comes out we were right around four million subscribers so this let's just count this as my celebration let's freaking go i believe uh me and my dad had promised we're gonna go skydiving and he's gonna get a tattoo i don't know if any of that's gonna happen because of what's happening right now with covid19 i've had this i'm a psychopath tattoo for so many years and like the dude my dad needs to get it i don't know about skydiving though that sounds a little pr that's pretty extreme we already got enough things that uh, are potentially life-threatening right now i don't know if i want to willingly jump out of an airplane this four millionth sub milestone means a great deal because i've been stuck from on the three millions for shoot honestly four years when the psycho series ended i had just hit three mil subs so this whole last four years has felt like me getting my first million subscribers which took like nine years so i, I really gotta thank y'all for for doing this i know it's nothing probably i've done recently but um 
just all the content I've done over the years, building up and people watching, going back and enjoying the series. Seriously, that that really means the world. So thank you guys so much for hitting 4 million. I'm pretty confident that it'll probably be the last sub milestone I'll hit because I'm about to be going all in the story fire. I know you heard it before, but I want to talk about like, some of you guys are wondering where all the creative series are. Where Where's all that good stuff? You know, Sega series, MVE, Devil Inside. I want to see more of that. Unfortunately, my biggest plans for this year was the story fire office series where we locked down a space and I hired a bunch of people to work for Storyfire. Unfortunately, this virus hit and we had to shut down the physical office. <laughs> there are no plans to actually go back into the office. I believe uh, the virus, better yet, I know that this virus is going to be with us for years. It's going to get a lot worse than it already is and unfortunately, that is just reality. So it's been tough. I can't see people. But yeah, it's been hard to film many videos because it's just me. I just can't film with the people I normally film with because there's a your risk that you could get infected you don't know but i want to tell you guys we are going to get back to regular content um why i haven't been is we are prepping for one of the biggest actually the biggest ever uh marketing push on story fire some of the largest creators we're going to be giving away tens of thousands of dollars to you guys and we're going to have new awesome features coming in the next few months so starting in july you're going to see some massive influencers joining story fire uh, we're going to give away $10,000 to one lucky person who downs the app and rates us five star. We're also going to be giving probably another $14,000. Every other day, we're going to be giving one person $1,000 who's active on the social feed. I'll be explaining all those details once we get closer, but get hyped, guys. Legit, we're going to about we're gonna be in the millions of users at the next month. This is the first time we've ever done this. For the last few years, we've just been building the product, and now it's finally time for gasoline blast off, the year of the phoenix. Ah! Ah! That was what I imagined would be, you know, the eagle doused in fire. It was majestic, but then at the same time, uh, writhing in pain and agony. But yeah, a lot of my time has just been spent on the business side of Storyfire, getting all those things ready. Brian and I have been working around the clock to ensure that this thing goes smoothly and that everything's in place and you guys have an awesome experience for this huge run. Legit, the last three to four years of Storyfire has led us to this July, which will be the three-year anniversary since Storyfire actually came out on the iOS device. So we're super stoked. Hopefully you guys are too, and you can always download that in the description below. So while I not only have been so focused on the business side of things, I've also been doing some finance videos on my Jesse Tyler Ridgeway channel. You can subscribe to that. I'm giving away $5,000 when we hit 100K subscribers. Did some great cost breakdowns, some really cool stuff on there. Uh, we did one of the Psycho Series, MVE. I've also been doing a bunch of TikToks, believe it or not. Um, you can follow me at Jesse Tyler Ridgeway. That's been a lot of fun. Ashley and I have been doing some crazy stuff on there. We've also been rehashing some old stuff, but doing it in like a greatest hits kind of format, which is sick. Other things, other things going on. Um, if you guys trust me and are down for like, yo, Jess, you know I'm an OG juggy. I've been watching you for years. Honestly, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you want to do, I'll follow and watch that. If you guys, if that's your answer, Y'all gonna maybe squirt out a tear. I love you guys for that, and that would mean the world, and that would give me the kind of creative freedom to really think about what I would want to make, what can I make given the time that I have, and really crush it. None of this is real. Look, I don't want to... I'm just struggling to understand how everything that's happening in the universe right now is real. Things are just not adding up. You ever feel like you're a prisoner? in your own life, that all of this, all, all of what we're experiencing is just like playing out in some like alien's head. Or like we're all this crazy show for extraterrestrials to watch and laugh at. You understand what I'm saying? I encourage everybody, help me put the pieces together. Help me make sense of all this. I feel I'm tapped in more than most, but there's a bigger picture going on here, and I fail to be just a cog in its machine. And that's what Storyfire is trying to do, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just going with the flow, but I swear to God, there's a freaking... Somebody's deciding where the flow goes. And I think you can predict what it is and where it's going. I think you can, I think, I think you can step outside of the current 
I think you can step outside of the flow of things and see things for what they really are. If you're in the river, I feel like you can actually get out of the river and see the river as just a river. And it's up to you if you want to go back in or not. I wish I could be more creative right now, my friends. Uh, I've just been very business oriented. However, I'm going to get back to regular content. Um, a lot of uh, YouTube and Storyfire content, which, guys, reminds me, if you want to see a super chill vlog, go check out Storyfire right now. Ash and I snuck into my parents' pool. That was a lot of fun. It's super real, super genuine, so if you like that sort of thing, go check it out. Links are in the description. You're going to see a lot of part one, part two videos, YouTube to Storyfire, and then eventually, after the marketing push, it's probably going to be mostly all Storyfire. And potentially, I'll give the channel back to my dad. I really didn't expect to, to be back here. Um, it's been cool. Missed you guys. Hope to see you on the fire, though. You guys have been killing it, not only with Blaze, but all you guys go growing your following. You guys getting massive followers, freaking writing stories, earning some cash through the social feed. All the story fire peeps. Y'all crushing. I love you guys. Uh, I'm going to get back to work before I go. I hate putting this out there publicly. Maybe I'll start to share some uh, some of my more personal thoughts on Storyfire social feed. Make sure you go follow me there. In the meantime, if you want to help me break through the universe, if you want to punch through it, let me know in the comments below if you're tired, if you don't want to play the game anymore. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to transcend into what's next. I've been purposely avoiding showing you what I'm talking about and even talking about it publicly because it's just not smart to talk publicly because you don't know who is watching. Ever. The second you blast it onto the internet, Google and data and all these things harvesting our information for what purpose? The second I tell you guys anything more, I reveal all my cards and that is not a very wise decision. So just give me a little symbol in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about and you want more. I'll make an exception. All right, guys. Love you guys to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid and stay lit. And the truth will set us free, my friends. I forgot to add, if I haven't said in a while, thank you guys for everything. Oh, and I found this mirror. Well, well, found a mirror. Wait a minute. He found a mirror. That's now that's a little unusual, guys, because if you remembered, he broke all the mirrors. Looks like somebody left that mirror for suggesting them find it. Now, that's a cra this, uh, the future about everything. It is crazy how Jesse came up with the idea that this something was going to happen and the economy. Yeah, it, it, it was like that. I mean. That was the whole point. But I, I doubt that he was actually accurate on the point that there was a virus coming in. <clears throat> but you never know. But I have to say, guys, 2020 has been really crazy. I actually thought that this year was going to be great. I mean, the reason why I said it was going to be great because there was great movies coming out this year. Godzilla vs. King Kong, Black Widow, Mulan. All these movies I wanted to see. But unfortunately, they all got pushed and some got are some are have been um, pushed back to go to um, next year, like Fast Nine. Everything, everything has been pushed. Now a lot of businesses are about to expire. A lot of people, a lot of businesses are going to close. And since that we're opening up everything, it's kind of a good thing because everybody needed jobs. Everyone can't live on a stimulus check for not for very long. And they had to do what they gotta do what they gotta do. I mean, it's been three months, guys. It's almost close to the fourth month. And I have to say, this is crazy on this whole lockdown thing for me. It was tough. I work at a grocery store, guys. I work almost every day. I get 40 hours every week. And let me tell you guys, it's been tough for me. But hey, I still have been doing more of my uh, Story Fire uh, series that I want to do, but I haven't got chosen yet. But I kind of get what Jesse's talking about. Do you ever feel like you're a prisoner and. You're desperate to get out. That's kind of how I'm feeling. And most, I, I you know, guys, I haven't shared this. I, I guess a lot of people have been telling me this, and I didn't want to believe it. And I think it's about time I accepted the truth. You know, for me to do uh, reaction videos, yes, I, I have been uh, dog paddling 
uh, behind behind Jesse, although I don't have that many subscribers as he does. But yeah, watching the video, giving my opinions and everything, that's kind of how I was. And I never thought that I would reach over 12,000 subscribers, which I, I'm grateful for that for all of you. But a lot has changed for me. I think uh, I've been working a lot. I've I, well, ever since the story fire came out, I wanted to do my own series. I'm sure you guys saw the video. Uh, uh, if you guys watched the stream, he, I told him that. Are you ready? Are you? Do you want to watch uh, Ray's new new uh, series that he wants to do? And he said yes. I think that what King Lake wants to do is to break out of the reaction thing and be a storyteller. He wants to be a creative guy, saying, and hey, I want to see more of that. That's what I want to do. I feel like I'm I'm under his shadow. I, like I said, guys, I praised him a lot for giving me the confidence to do videos again. But the time has come for me to... I did say I want to stop doing reaction videos. I want to do the Storyfire series that I wanted. And it's kind of tough because... Well, not because I get, don't get chosen. I do have work and I do... I have a lot of time to do all that. It's just I'm hoping to get chosen and that's so I can be able to do it. But, um... I know that I have been doing reaction videos a lot, and I think the time has come for me to stop. If I ever get chosen, guys, I will choose not to do reaction videos anymore. So, guys, I want that to be clear. So, because I want to show my creative side. No more reaction. No more backpedaling on somebody on using content of people that they already have. So, I want to do that. I hope you guys understand that, because... I, you know, a lot of people have been writing me messages and stating that we well, you got to stop doing reaction videos. You're stealing content from him. And, you know, I've been fighting it. I've been fighting it. And then I, I have to agree that I that they're right. So if I ever get chosen, I want to show everyone. I want to show Jesse, too, that I, I, I'm a creator, but I want to do it my way, not anybody else's way. That's why I wanted to do it. Jesse gave me the, the the vision that I wanted to do the vision that I wanted to do so many times. I I I've been going through in my head, guys, how my series is gonna go. It says I got I'm gonna be doing this. I want to be doing that. I gotta make this more convincing. I gotta show them that I can do it. That's what I want to do. So, but either way, guys, I'm still gonna try to. I have already put in my application for my trailer. I actually updated it, so hopefully it'll be more convincing to everyone that I want this. So, if anything, I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to give up. But overall, it's just the fact that I have to try to um, get with the fact that I got to start doing my own stuff. If I, if I ever get chosen for Storyfire, that's all I'll be doing. I'll be focusing on that. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction for gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. If you guys are wondering, yes, I'm at lunch. I'm on lunch right now. I got a half hour. I got five minutes left. I wanted to do this. I know you guys are like, why aren't you doing it going at home? Why aren't you doing this? Well, I, I want to, but I want to stay at work because I've been working nonstop, guys. As a cashier, I've been checking out people a lot doing groceries. They've been buying groceries up the wazoo. And I have to say, it's getting tiring. But, hey, it's a job. I have to do what I got to do. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as for that mirror, where did he find that mirror? And the question is, what's he going to do with it? So he thinks everything's a simulation. Why does he sound like Isaac? Something tells me either we're getting Isaac back or we might have a MVE2. Or maybe we might see a little, like, uh, well, he did, as we saw on that whiteboard, time traveling. So if we see that, that would be good. All right, guys. Don't forget, to, don't forget, stay positive, guys. And I hope everyone stays safe. And make sure you wear a mask and put on hand sanitizer and do well out there. All right, guys. Stay positive.